Before we start the video, I need to thank Fextra Life for letting me use images from their Neo to Wikipedia, which I'm going to link in the description. This is also pre-DLC video, meaning there's gonna be more Guardian Spirits added to the game over time. Still, even without the DLC, Neo 2 has lots of Guardian Spirits, too many as a fact, you confused bastards. Lots of them are straight up bad when compared to top ones. So in this video I will give you my pick of best guardian spirits in the game and why I have chosen them. First, let's cover yokai shift differences. There are three types of guardian spirits in the game, brute, feral and phantom. They all act different while in yokai shift form, but the main difference is the counter burst move that is one of the more important moves to get right in Neo 2. Not only do they stagger enemies, but also can restore massive amounts of key and health when upgraded through Shiftling Tree. Each type has vastly different animations and require different timing and reaction to perform. There isn't best counterburst, because it all depends on how used you are to the type. You can learn all three with a little bit of effort. Let's start with first three choices that are given at the beginning of the game. All three are different types, offering different attribute bonuses and special effects. All three are good choice and the ones you didn't pick will be unlocked later on anyway. I would put Kagevani just slightly above others because it helps with survivability. Increased life by 200, tenacity that prevents death from damage over time, key damage plus 50% for strong attacks and life drain A rank with Yoka abilities are all nice starting bonuses. Next to that it has highest attunement limit out of these three, allowing more soul core combinations and small plus one magic increase which is also good because magic is needed for all builds. As I said though, all three choices are good, you can't go wrong. Ame no Mitori's best special effect is key recovery increase and Makami grants important starting effect called melee key consumption decrease. Now let's pick best of the rest. Yusura Hicho is Phantom Guardian Spirit that offers nice special effects across board. Most notable one for early and mid game is life recovery through purification because health pool is much lower at that point, so 100 health per purification is truly something considering that yokai pools are very frequent in every boss fight. Dodge key consumption reduction and active skill key damage are both very nice bonuses as well. Water damage plus 15% might sound like a big deal, but it isn't. During early to mid game you can use water based spells and this is where this bonus comes into play, but that is it. Later on offensive spells lose their effectiveness. Imbue element special effect on weapons and the elemental talisman offer very little additional elemental damage through attacks, so additional 15% becomes insignificant. Only downside of this guardian spirit is that it has lowest attunement level possible. Gembu is another Phantom Guardian Spirit that is defensively oriented. Elemental damage is a problem in Neo 2. Bosses can do significant amount of it and it goes through Protection Talisman. There are special effects to reduce it on armor pieces and accessories, but this is the only Guardian Spirit that reduces it further by minus 15%, which is quite significant. On top of that you get 5% damage taken reduction to help with physical damage received as well. In Neo almost every competent build uses Omnium Magic to some extent and having stalwart bonus to negate getting staggered that ends in miscast is nice buff, especially before unlocking Omnium Magic Mystic Art that allows quick casting. Anima bonus Omnium Magic hit is alright bonus only if you are using offensive magic, otherwise it is useless. Hyokucho is feral guardian spirit that has balanced special effects. Elixir effectiveness increased by 15% and increased key by 80 are really good upgrades for every build. Melee damage critical helps also but is best used in critical builds only as you don't want to stay in critical state for long. From eye test key recovery speed with full Amrita gauge wasn't that significant so I would put it as least important special effect but it is still there, a nice little bonus. 
Nekomata is Feral Guardian Spirit that is ninjutsu oriented. It is great for bombs and Shurhen Kunai builds because it increases their damage by 5% and also fills up anima quite fast every time you hit an enemy with ninjutsu item. This is what makes this spirit so good. Other bonuses include 20% increased damage done by Feral Yokai abilities and extended burst counter that grants more frames for burst counter to be successful. Decent bonuses across board but definitely anima bonus through ninjutsu hit is the best one and that is why this particular guardian spirit is best for ninjutsu based builds. Isanagami is brute guardian spirit that has nice bonuses across the board and it is best for water element focused builds. Attack buff, every time after using medicine stands around 20% increased damage which is quite nice but short lasting unfortunately. It also does not stack with carnage and power pill. Another buff of this guardian spirit increases damage by 15% versus saturated enemies so if you go for water element only from this guardian spirit you can get around 35% damage increase after using medicine and by applying saturation. This is all also on top of saturated effect that lowers enemy defense, increasing damage they receive by around 25%. Oh yeah, you also get 250 life and increased utensil drop rate. Yumehami is phantom guardian spirit that can be used for every build. Faster key recovery through Amrita absorption is great, but don't forget to bring extraction talisman. Note that it does not stack with other key recovery through Amrita absorption buffs. Extended Yokai Shift by 20% can be really effective during end game with all extended Yokai Shift buffs from Shiftling Tree. Melee key damage bonus of 20% is fantastic for almost every build. Anima bonus gold earned is nice when clearing stages because you are likely to enter most of the fights with enough stamina to start off with Yokai ability. Mizuchi is another brute guardian spirit that is good for water based builds. Saturation accumulation increase of 20% means you do not have to get same special effect on accessories and weapon because 20% is enough on its own so you are free to get other special effects instead on equipment. Increased defense through Amrita absorption means extraction talisman is needed. I got strange results from this buff from barely noticeable to all the way up to 30% damage decrease which is bananas. This defense buff stacks with steel talisman but doesn't stack with increased defense from shoot and dodgy core. Water based builds benefit from increased anima gain through water attacks as well when using Mizuchi. Increased anima gain by 5% makes this guardian best one for faster leveling. Only downside is that it has lowest possible attunement limit. And now for the absolute best guardian spirit. Tengen is another phantom type guardian spirit that works with every build. What makes this spirit the best one is its stance based Amrita bonus. Every stance bonus is very good on its own but most ridiculous thing is that they all stack with other bonuses. High stance increased attack bonus stacks with rage, carnage and power pill. Mid stance defense bonus stacks with shoot and dodge core defense buff. Low stance faster key recovery stacks with faster key recovery bonuses from sets such as Flying Kato. Here is another fantastic thing about Tengen. You can have all three buffs active by switching stances and hitting enemy just once to get buff for each stance. Just don't forget to bring Extraction Talisman because without it all of this means nothing. Other Tengen buffs are mediocre but that makes sense since this bloody bird is insane anyway. Oh yeah, Tengen also has the highest possible attunement limit. Honorable mention here is Itokuri Feral Guardian Spirit. This spirit is best for farming those dreaded smithing texts and equipment because of luck and item drop rate buffs. It is unclear if luck affects smithing text drop rate but it affects all equipment drops so you are more likely to get higher rarity stuff. Anyway, those would be the best pre-DLC Guardian Spirits in my opinion. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.